One of the challenges we're facing now that we have these drugs that are showing clear benefit in patients with SMA is how do we really capture the full effect of the response? Uh, so we're trying to improve our motor function scales uh, so that they're not quite so limited and granular, but give us a more comprehensive uh, assessment of how they're really functioning in the real world. Uh, in a similar way, uh, we're trying to identify through patient-reported outcome measures, caregiver burden, quality of life measures, um, how are these children uh, and adults living with SMA? How are they really feeling? How are they doing? And we, we still need to do a better job there and identify more disease-specific uh, outcome measures, uh, such as these PROs. Uh, so some of the work that was presented at this World Muscle Society meeting was focused on that. And I think what we're going to find that over time, as we start to capture this real-world data of patients being treated with these uh, different drugs, that we're going to need to develop and implement the use of these quality of life metrics so that we really better understand from the patient perspective uh, the full response to these drugs. Uh, I think other areas are that uh that important we are uh, there are more and more uh, devices uh, brought into the um, potential um, uh, testing arena how to monitor patients in a home environment not only in in clinical um, uh, clinics and laboratory setting but try to see what information we can collect uh, from the patient's own home environment and would that data be useful? For example, activity measurements, different devices uh, similar to uh, monitoring watches or devices that have sensors put on the body and, and monitor movements. I think this will become in important uh, when uh, uh, regulators such as FDA looks at uh, data that are uh, you know, coming from not only from, from clinical setting, but from home environment. I think this is another important area, but it needs more, much more work.